computer science when you hear this word computer science what comes in your mind first programming coding uh, programming languages but there are other subjects also in computer science operating system database uh, data structure computer networks and many more so, but what you think generally it's all about programming computer science is all about programming but that is a myth in the previous video also i have discussed myths about computer programming myths about computer science you can check out this that video in the side button right it's not all about programming but yeah programming is you can say it's an it's an important aspects of computer science degree yeah that is true we cannot deny this but it is not like that if you are a cs degree holder you can only be a programmer and you can only go into the development field like software developer web developer or mobile app developer but if you are not good in programming then maybe you are thinking that it's not for me i cannot i am not able to get a job i am not able to get a good job because i am not good in programming but no that is not true that also i'll discuss if you are not good in programming if you hate coding what are the other options for you guys but in later video right in this video i'm going to discuss some must have skills for computer science students or uh, I, i can say uh, skills you should develop during your college time when you are pursuing your degree at that time right but uh, before that just want to tell you one thing an academy is presenting you an exclusive interview with all india rank 1 holder grf 2020 and this interview is on 14th of december you can check out the detail here one of their educator is going to interview uh, that all india rank 1 holder and in this interview uh, she she'll be discussing about um, her journey and her preparation strategy as well as uh, she'll discuss she'll give, she'll give some tips and tricks that is definitely going to be helpful for the aspirants uh, preparing for nta ugc net exam and it is free you can uh, watch this session or you can attend this session freely you don't need to pay anything and you can also see the batch calendar for nt ugc net december batch calendar here you can see that name of the course educator's name the time and the date and the day right so according to that you can set reminders and you can start your preparation so uh, better if you are if you are preparing if you are uh, planning to appear in nt ugc net 2021 it's better to start early and you can also go for their paid subscription like uh, you can purchase the, the complete course for nta ugc net and if you will use the code jenny10 then you will get 10% discount because it is not free if you are going uh, for the complete course the structured course for nta ugc net then you have to pay so if you are interested you can go for it all the details and the uh, link for that exclusive interview i'll put in the description box of this video you can go and check out So now let us discuss those skills which you should develop during your college time during your, when you are pursuing your degree. First is definitely that is programming skill, right? Because see it is in your curriculum also the subject C C++ Java and other subjects also uh, DSA you have uh, practicals also you have to write down uh, programs also. So it's better to develop your programming skill. It's better to work on your programming skill from the first semester only from the first year only. right because it is really going to helpful in future but see suppose you have tried very hard but still you are not very good in programming at least obviously you have some fundamentals are, are clear you have some idea of the languages but you are not so strong it's fine you can go into other field also but if you work on your programming skill yeah you have time please don't give up work on your uh, programming skill and uh, have to learn a programming language how to think logic how to learn to code these videos i have already uploaded so you can check out these videos in the playlist placement series right second point is self learning you have to be a self learner see if you will ask um, to your seniors those are already in those companies in some big companies or in any companies or those who have already placed or if you will survey or you will do some research then you will find out that whatever you study during your degree in the classroom that is not much beneficial for you when you go for when you work when you work actually in that industry right you can ask to your seniors if they are working there like how much if they have what they whatever they have studied during their cs degree in the classroom how much it is useful and you will be surprised to get the answer it is very less right because they focus more on what yeah generally they uh, in their classroom they focus more on what theory rather than practical yeah you have practicals also but they focus on theory they evaluate you based on your theory right so but you have you should have practical knowledge rather than theoretical knowledge that is going to be important that is going to be helpful 
when you will get a job when you will actually work in that environment in real time environment right like they in colleges they will not teach you how to develop a mobile app how to uh, create a website right they just only teach you the theoretical subjects these are the programs in the labs and you just write the programs and that's it but what is the true meaning of writing those program what is the true meaning of learning these languages so that you do yourself you have to be a self learner especially yeah it is also very important it is also important in any other uh, streams in any other branch also but in computer science it is very important so my advice is what please do not be just dependent on your coursework on your faculties in classroom like they have taught this to you and that's it you have revised those concept right you have passed semester exam you have passed your practical and that's it no you have to be a self learner you have to research you have to do some research about the trends what is in market what is going on in market what skills technologies uh, what tools and technologies what skills required are required to get into companies how they work the working environment of companies and for that obviously you should have some connections also uh, with your seniors like this so it's better to make connections also while you are um, you know in your college so that you can get some information about those companies their working environment their culture and everything and it would be beneficial for you if you have prior knowledge of these things because uh, if you want to get into these companies so definitely it would be beneficial for you so please uh, make a habit of self learning you have to be a self learner that is very important right next is critical thinking see identifying a problem check out every single detail every minor de detail of that problem then finding out the solutions analyzing those solutions and then finding out the optimized solution effective solution for a problem right it is what it's an important aspects in computer science so for that you have to be a critical thinker you have to be a problem solver you have to develop these critical thinking ability in you this problem solving activity in you so that you can if you have given a problem you can identify that problem first of all understand that problem every single details then find out the solutions and give optimized solution not just give solution but you have to analyze those solutions also you have to give an effective optimized solution right next is teamwork see this is also very important when uh, you will uh, go into these industries it's not like that if you are working on a project i alone will do that project i don't need any team if in case of presenta presentation also i also i alone will give this presentation i don't need anyone if uh, it's come to publishing a research paper then also i'll only publish the research paper means i don't need anyone i'll not add any others name i don't need any others help that should not be your attitude they also think that you have that um, ability to work in a team while interviewing because at that time you have to work in a team on a project you have to collaborate with other members you have to communicate with other members also you have to live in that environment in a team work environment so that should be in you like you can work in a team so you should work on this skill also you should start developing this skills also during your college time like uh, if you are working on a project there is a team of 3 to 4 members so obviously you are manage maybe you are managing that team some task it is your task that you have to do this in uh, in this project other member is going to do is working on this part so you have to communicate with other members also while giving presentation also you can uh, make a group or uh, you can do group study also or if you are going to publish a research paper then also uh, maybe two members three or four students uh, can work in a team and publish a research paper that would be easy rather than uh, publishing a research paper rather than uh, working on a project rather than giving a presentation with no team member right so start working in a team next is patience i don't know if you are able to relate this or not but i'm i'll try to explain it with some examples like see suppose if you are working on a project or not project if suppose you are writing a program very basic level from the very basic level i'm going to start and at starting if when you are starting to do that code when you are learning code in starting phase what you do even you do a mistake of like missing a semicolon and you are not able to find out this also this is silly mistake and you will end up with you know scratching your head and you will not able to write a simple program how to check even odd numbers how to write down the syntaxes for loop syntax 
these things maybe sometimes you cannot even write like that uh, uh, in c language printf syntax or uh, scanf syntax somewhere you forgot to write down that quotation mark that percentage and these syntaxes so you have to be cool at that time keep calm and keep on coding right so this skill is also required for a computer science student you have to keep patience like suppose uh, let us take example of competitive programming sometimes you face uh, such type of problem like uh, they obviously in competitive programming problems are in form of stories you have to first understand the problem right and then you give the solution so sometimes it uh, took two days three days to solve up that problem right so at that time you need patience so that's it from my side but if you think that for a cs student uh, other than these skills some other uh, skills are also uh, necessary uh, to develop during their college time then you can write down those skills in the comment box uh, so now that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video now till then bye bye take care